Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to help you answer the question, can changing your transmission fluid cause damage to the transmission? Now people are always asking me, Scotty, some guys tell me, don't change the fluid in my transmission or it may start slipping or stop shifting gears right. Is that true or not? Of course you don't want to damage your car by not maintaining it, but on the other hand, you don't want to maintain your car and then damage it through the maintenance you're doing, so here's the truth. A little history helps explain it. General Motors made the first really commercially viable automatic transmission using hydraulic fluid to drive the transmission. Instead of using a manual clutch where the clutch is clamped down to the engine and when you step on the clutch it releases it so you can shift gears and when you pick up on the clutch it goes back down so the engine and the transmission are mechanically connected. An automatic transmission uses what's called a torque converter. There's fluid inside and even though the torque converter is bolted to the flywheel on the engine and is mechanically connected, the connection between the torque converter and the transmission is using fluid dynamics to make it go. It's not physically connected. And they have to make them that way for one reason. When you come to a stop, in a standard transmission you have to push down on the clutch or put it in neutral or the car will stall out. But with an automatic, that doesn't occur. While you're sitting there, the torque converter just has complete slippage and so the car doesn't stall out from the engine being jammed against a piece that isn't moving anymore. Here's a torque converter taken apart. You can see there's all kinds of little crevices and friction plates. The fluid allows the mechanical spinning of the engine to be transferred to the transmission using fluid pressure and fluid friction. Now because this transfer is done in very small spaces, it requires a very thin clean fluid. If it was thick, it would just jam the whole system up and not work right. And believe it or not, the early automatic transmissions, some of them used whale oil. Talk about save the whales. Jeez, we were killing the whales to drive our cars. So guess what? You need clean fluid in your transmission or it won't work right. Now years ago when I was a young mechanic, we changed the fluid and filter in automatic transmissions every 20 or 30,000 miles to keep them running smooth. But today modern fluids have a higher quality as do some of the transmission parts. Some of them use fully synthetic fluid. You still do need to change it though regardless of what anybody's going to tell you. If you want your vehicle to last for hundreds of thousands of trouble free driving. Now the fluid in the Celica has been changed every 40, 50,000 miles I've changed it and it's got 240,000 miles on it, still has the original transmission and it shifts like a dream. But if you have not maintained the transmission correctly and now say you got a car that's got 150,000 miles on it, the fluid's all black and you think, gee, I'm going to change it. Well guess what? That may not be a good idea because if you have a really dirty transmission, your torque converter's working with dirty fluid. Dirty fluid has more friction. That may be the only thing that's still making it drive down the road and not slip. You change out that really dirty fluid, hey, I've seen many people do that. And what happens is they slip or they don't even move on their own. That you really better to leave alone if the transmission is still working. You're living on borrowed time then anyway. Or you might try some of this Lucas transmission slip fix, which works like this. If you have a high mileage car, with really dirty automatic transmissions. You can get a bottle of this Lucas Transmission Slip Stop. It's 24 ounces. You drain 24 ounces of fluid out of the transmission and only 24 and then you add that into the automatic transmission. Sometimes that can keep it from slipping. The ones that have already started slipping and if you have really dirty fluid it can at least protect it for a while longer. Realize that automatic transmissions hold a lot of fluid. Some of them hold 14, 15 quarts of oil. So if you just drain out 24 ounces and put in 24 ounces of this, you're not radically changing the consistency of the fluid like you would if you drained it out and put all clean fluid in a dirty transmission and then found, oh my god, it's slipping now, what am I going to do? But of course you're better off changing the fluid regularly in the first place, not getting into such a mess. And I know some people are going to say, 
Oh, Scotty, those new cars say it's lifetime fluid. You never need to change it. Well, if you're going to keep your car as long as possible, that's a bunch of nonsense. It still needs to be changed. I talked to my transmission man about that, and he says, Scotty, you should see some of these cars. We advise them, even though it says lifetime, change it every 50, 60,000 miles, even with synthetic fluid. Because we've seen the ones that have 100,000 miles, 120, and they break and we take them apart. There's nothing but crud in Inside from it breaking down. He told me that he's seen tons of Nissans that if they would have only changed the fluid every 50, 60,000 miles, even though it said it's a lifetime fluid, that he wouldn't have had to rebuild those things so soon and spend four or five, six thousand dollars on a job that, hey, if you changed the fluid and paid a guy like him a hundred something dollars to do it, you wouldn't be in that mess in the first place. Regular maintenance is the key here. Like I said, if you wait too long and it's too dirty with too many high miles on the car, if you do change the fluid, a lot of times whoosh, the transmission will go out entirely and then you're going to have to spend a ton of money fixing it. Because this Lucas stop slip, hey, it's basically just a band-aid. It might get you a little more time out of a transmission that's really dirty and isn't working right. But it's not a miracle. It's not going to rebuild your transmission because it was all ruined from dirty fluid. And to give you one more warning, people always ask me about transmission flushes. My advice, never flush out an automatic transmission. Too much damage can be done by pushing dirt into small crevices. When you change it, you drop the pan, you change the fluid and the filter if it has a filter and leave it at that. The flush machines, they can cause more damage than good that they might do. So now you know the truth about automatic transmission fluid changing. And if you follow my advice and buy the right car, you can have many miles of trouble free shifting in your car. Because some cars, they just have poorly manufactured automatic transmission and it doesn't matter what you do to them. They're going to fall apart well before 100,000 miles anyway. But if you do pick the right manufacturer, you can get this kind of mileage out of a transmission and even more. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.